Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, and Kakadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and start me this truth, I want to give you peace and blessings to the Akim. Cross the four corners of the earth for teach this truth, first, I'd like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low on the videos, edifying, low when Akim gets something from this video. Hey, basically, what this is going to be about, man, is uh, another video on the destruction of America and, and um, you know, the heathen and our enemies seeing um, our salvation out of this place, man. Okay? You know, because indeed we are going to be saved out of this. Low willing, I'm part of that number. And I'm talking about the one third and the elect, which is 144,000 men and the one third, you know, of Israel, which the 144,000 is a part of the one third that's going to be saved and brought through the fire. You got two thirds that's not going to make it through the fire, man. Okay? They're not. Okay. But this is uh, uh, Baruch 4 and 24. It says, Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with the great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children suffer patiently. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High, for thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou hast... Thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. So the enemy, which I did a video break explaining who the enemy is, right? We're shortly going to tread upon his neck and we're going to see the destruction of him. Okay? And we're going to rule over our oppressors with a rod of iron. As a matter of fact, let's grab that. Right here, it says uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. Yeah. This is Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of in the land of the Lord Yahweh for service and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Okay? Which we are indeed. You know, we're going to rule over our, our oppressors. Our oppressors. Okay, it says three, it says, and it shall come to pass in a day that the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Okay, and you got to think, right? Because hell is a condition, man. You know what I mean? So heaven and hell is a condition. You have a nation of people who have hell on the side. You have a nation of people who have heaven on the side. The ones who are in heaven, when the sorrow are in the heaven, you know, uh, um, setting or a heaven, uh, way of living, which means they're not oppressed. They have rule. They bear rule over people, right? They have their way, okay? What do, what, what do they need to be saved from? They don't need to be saved from anything, okay? But you have those who are, you know, who are in bondage, you know, who were handmaids, who were bondmen and bondwomen, who actually didn't know that they were Israelites, you know what I'm saying, until the end time, right, that are in a hell like condition, these are the people that need salvation, man. Okay? It says, And this shall come to pass in the day the Lord Yahweh shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Uh, because indeed it was a you know hard bondage where we were made to serve. If you just look at even a ride over here from, you know, West Africa and from, you know, different parts of Europe and all that. You know, if you just look at that, you know, the 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 slave ship, right? You know, the million, you know, the, the people who had died, you know, on the way over here and the people who died, you know, over here, you just look at that. You want to compare that to the, you know, to what happened to the small hats. It's not comparable, okay? Because the real, you know, H, I'm going to say H for that word because I don't want this video to get taken down, but the real H was slavery, man, Okay? That was the real H, okay? Uh, this is Baruch, um, uh, back in Baruch 4, yeah, it says, 4 and 14, it says, Let them that dwell about Zion come and remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting had brought upon them, because the Lord had brought this captivity upon us, not, 
you people. It was it was done through the Lord because we didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. You can read that in Deuteronomy 28. Okay, it says, For he hath brought a nation upon the, them from far, a shameless nation, and of a strange language, who neither reverence old men nor pity child. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, with without daughters. Okay, it says, but what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you, um, upon you from the hand, it's like it says, for he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. So we are indeed going to be delivered out of the hands of our enemies, which do have us in captivity as of now. Okay, now let's get into the, uh, yeah, let's get into the destruction of this place. It's Brook 4 and um, 30. It says, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall, which all the heathen afflicted us and, and uh, rejoiced at our fall, which the heathen are our enemies. It's 32. It says, Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Okay, which her desolation is by way of thermonuclear missiles. Okay, and as she is talking about America, this is the same sheet that's represented throughout the scriptures, right? The virgin daughter of Babylon. Okay, it says, uh, For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning, which her pride is going to be turned into mourning, and you could, within an hour, okay, you could, within one hour, you could read that in Revelation 17, if I'm not mistaken. It says, For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time and there's only one place in the scriptures that 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 has that judgment written for you know which is modern day babylon which is also called sodom and egypt which got a lot of homosexuality here in the bondage of israel is here man okay study seven it says lo thy sons come whom thou sentest away they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. And indeed, you know, we have come because we're scattered across the four corners of the earth. So we have come, you know, rejoicing, you know, and in, in rejoicing in the glory of the Most High with the word, man, knowing the word. OK, you got men who has never met each other right on the same accord, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. OK, shit, you can't even get the military to agree upon. Everything, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you got people that, you know, you, you, shit, you got gangs and all kind of madness and shit in this world that can't fucking agree upon everything. That's how you know this is not of men. Even scriptures tell you if this is of men, it will fall. This is not of men. This is of the Lord. You know, our power, Yahweh. That's the Father's name and His Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So just a quick video, man. Lower the videos, edifying, lowly. I can go start from this video. And give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How will Bahashimi, how will Shai? Bahashimi, how will Shai? I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next. Shalom.